Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about design for test. Um, so it's a new feature that's been introduced in QIR7 for Orca PCB Designer, professional and in standard. And what this does is allows us to start doing some, some uh, design for test DRC checks. Um, so we've got a couple of options. If we start off with Constraint Manager, what we'll do is we've now got off XP Design for Test area. So we can do design for test against outline, against mask and silk screen, against spacing, against probing. We're just going to go through effectively the mark, some basic checks like mask and silk screen. So um, we'll start off with creating a DRC rule. So we'll click on the, the new C set, non etch, we'll click OK. And what I'm here is I'm looking for effectively test points um, that don't have solder masks. So we'll just turn that DRC check on. We can also look for silk screen checks as well. So um, test points looking um, that may be covered with silk screen. If I go to the mask and silk screen area and the primary section, I'm just going to turn on effectively under solder mask bottom. I'm going to turn on my, my, my DRC check here um, and then we'll go and make sure it's turned on. So analysis, analysis, sorry, analysis modes. And if we look under the design for test, mask and silk screen, I'm just going to turn all of these DRC checks on. So if we go to the main canvas of the window and we'll just update the DRCs. Um, and let's just look at our solder masks. We can see effectively I've got some DRC errors on my test points. So if I hover over here, it's telling me that the, 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 the solder or the test pin doesn't have any solder masks. And I've probably got an issue with my pad stack definition here. So if we go to tools, pad stack, modify design pad stack, click on the pads and then edit. Let's look at the mask layers. I don't have an opening in my solder mask bottom. Okay, so let's make a change here. Put an opening here. We'll just update that to the design all the DRCs effectively disappear. So the next check, check we can look at is um, if we look at the spacing. So um, have I got any test points under components? Let me just uh, close constraint manager and we launch it. So um, we're just going to effectively create a DRC rule again. Have we got any test points under the actual components? So I'll click on on to so return the DRC check on. We'll then go to the spacing and again look at the primary section the testing layers on the bottom side of the board. I'm just going to enable that DRC. If we go to anal analyze analysis modes, design for test. Let's look at the spacing options. And again, we'll turn on the spacing options. Click OK. And then if we minimize constraint manager and update our DRC check, we've got a DRC error. So my test point is actually being placed underneath my component by mistake. So again, we can then just move the test point. Let's just slide it out of the way. And the DRC has disappeared. 